Hey John, it's Jason here from Performance Toyota. I thought I'd uh, give you a face to my, uh, my name here in the email. Um, this is the Avalon, so let's take a look at it. Well, that's just cool. So I'm, I'm, I am in accessory mode, which is why I have my check engine, oil, seat belt, and battery light on. Uh, but obviously once I turn it on, it, it will go away. Again, I'm in the showroom, so I don't wanna turn it on and blast the boys in here with uh, exhaust fumes. So I hope you can uh, ex um, understand that. So here is your nice display. I absolutely love this, by the way. It's so nice and it's all touchscreen too. So you can just turn it off, turn it on the fan, turn the temperature down. You can sync it, so it is dual sync. And then it looks like you can do the rear too, which is cool. Um, the frost, you've got the temperature outside, sync auto how you want it to come through the frost on the front and then you can You've got your time right there as well so that is your features for the climate control you have xm built into this here you have navigation also built right into it you have your phone, audio, you have your eco, so how you drive, um, if, if you're driving well, if you're not driving well, how much fuel consumption, uh, text messages, you could even set up all your maintenances, so when everything needs to be, uh, you know, air filter changed and the next time that you have to go in, this will tell you, which is fantastic. Take a, take a couple minutes and, and go through that, it definitely helps you. Um, it still has a nice CD player, which a lot of cars don't come with anymore. So it's really nice to see that ours still has this. It also is the XM radio, HD radio, and it's a JBL audio. So it is the updated and upgraded audio system. So it will sound uh, really nice when you do listen to that. Right now, you can listen to our most popular Sirius XM package with introductory plans on new subscriptions as low as $5. So there you go. I know the phone doesn't really do it justice, but uh, anyways, you've got your phone. Now we're not connected, but you can go there. You can make phone calls right from here, or you can go right over here to the steering wheel and you can do the phone right, right from here. Okay, you could also do hands-free. You hit this and it'll ask you, you can just tell it to call so-and-so so that's on your contact list or change it to X uh, radio and it'll do that for you. So you can keep your eyes on the, on the, on the road, which is just great. You could also change the mode on how you want to like listen to the music. Okay, um, you could also go back. This right here is for the screen in the front. 
So this right here, you're gonna go through and just basically tune your radio. So if you just wanna go, you know, by station by station, you, you hit these guys right here. If you wanna go by your presets, you're just gonna go up and down using these ones. If you wanna enter it, you just hit enter and it'll go on there. Now, if you wanna control this guy right here in front of you, you're gonna hit this button right here. So this tells you the pressure, your tire pressure. So right now we've got full full pressure PSI on, on the tires, exactly where they need to be. This is your lane departure assist. So it is turned on and how you turn that on is right here. So is, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. And what that is, is if your vehicle starts veering off the lane, like it is in this photo, it'll beep at you and then it'll kind of put you back into the lane. If you are on cruise control, which is all done by right here, basically, press the button to turn it on press down to set okay and then if you want to cancel you can bring it towards you if you want to resume up or if you want to speed up slow down now when you're doing that it does have radar adaptive cruise control um sorry dynamic radar uh, adaptive cruise control so you press this button and it sets it for how many lengths of vehicles in front that you want i like to keep it at one car length but it'll automatically go to the three car lengths for you to keep it nice and safe so i'll hit display again this is your eco mode so right now um it, it is off um but when you when you do drive you, you can turn that on if you wish so if i hold display it does go into the settings i can change it Digital speed on, turn by turn on, eco indicator on, lane departure, and then exit. And then I just, I'm just holding to exit there. Okay, this, you can check your system. Right now it's power on. Okay, distance empty 186 kilometers. And right now I'm going zero kilometers an hour. So you got your speedometer on the right, and then you also will have it in the, in the center right there as well with the RPMs on the left. You have how hot your engine is on the left, and then your fuel gauge on the right. That's your fuel economy, so how you're driving. Uh, right now it's a 10.5, but that's because sometimes we let these cars just sit and idle. Time until rest. So this is important because if you start veering off with that lane departure, um, if you do that, let's see what there you got. One, two, three, four, five, six times. It's gonna tell you that you should pull over, maybe get a coffee or take a walk or something because you've been driving too long. So I do think this is a really nice feature to have. Uh, and then we're right back at the tire pressure. So that right there, is your steering wheel, your display, your entertainment, and your climate control. Fun stuff over here, you've got your eco mode, now it's turned on. You've got normal mode, and then you got sport mode. So if you really wanna feel the V6, put it on sport mode. If you wanna save gas, put it in eco. And if you wanna just drive how this car is supposed to drive, put it in normal. You've got heated seats, and you've got cooling seats. Now, what I like about this is when I turn this, right here, you can see it. It's heating or cooling. That's pretty cool, I like that. It also tells you the temperature in, in, the, in the back. Okay, down here, we've got it turned on. That's your key charger. Okay, you've got your auxiliary and then your USB. And then you've got your old school cigarette lighter there, your 12 volt adapter. Now there's something right here and I can't seem to, so you wanna push it in, it'll slide down. And that is actually your wireless charger. So you just put your phone on there. As long as this button, this key button is turned on, you put your, foot, uh, your, your phone down there, it'll automatically start charging as long as your phone is a wireless charger. You've got the wood green interior right here with the nice little details. Everything is leather. You do have that nice white stitching across to everything in the front and the back. Sorry, it's actually, uh, now that I look at it, it's a, it's a nice little brown stitching. That's cool. All your windows are auto. So auto, uh, auto up, sorry, auto down and your front is auto up, the rest you gotta hold. You do have power locks, obviously power windows. You can lock the windows for the back seat drivers, adjust your mirrors, and you've got two, uh, two spots for memory seats. So if it's you and the missus that are driving, you, you can each have one spot to set. 
Some more safety features over here. You've got your pre-collision system. So your car will actually stop for you if you're kind of edging forward towards a new vehicle and you're not putting enough brakes on. Your traction control, your blind spot monitoring. So as long as this is turned on, your blind spot monitoring is there. So I'll do that again. So if someone's in your, in your car, in your lane, that will turn on for you. It'll glow amber like it did. You could open up your trunk. And then this one is pretty cool. So this is your rear view. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna press it. And that's just to help with the sun. So it's like a little shade. Put it down. If that's not fancy, I don't know what is. You've got your sunroof. Okay, it does open fully. It can, uh, you've got your, your mood here. Okay, your door lights. And then you can you can slide it uh, open, and then you can also just tilt it open or or close. So open and closed or up and down. So that's the tilt, and that's completely open. Glasses holder there. You have your automatic dimming rear view mirror. You have one, two, three home links to set up for your garages. Uh, you can turn this off if you wish. The, the auto dimming, and then this one right here is your. Uh, compass. So if you don't want that compass on, you can turn that off, but it does come with the compass. So this is our 24, no, sorry. So this is our 2016 Toyota Avalon. Uh, it's a limited, it's fully loaded, has everything, has all the safety features that technically didn't really come to the market on all of our cars until around the 2017 mark. So this is a very, very nice vehicle for you. If it is something that you'd be interested in taking a look at, I can have it out of the showroom. We can take a drive for it if, if that is something that you wish, okay? I look forward to meeting you. And um, again, it, was a, it, was a, it's, it will be a pleasure uh, to get to know you, meet you, and, and show you all the wonderful features in this vehicle.